Welcome back to KSNT News. We're on the clear side this evening. The last bit of light fading beyond the Christmas lights out in Junction City. Looking at the same view from our camera in Emporia as well. Just waiting for the dark nighttime skies to take over. And already feeling on the cold side here in Northeast Kansas as well. 25 degrees right now in the capital city. Good news calm here, not so elsewhere in the area. And we really struggled to warm up today. We only hit our high near 27. Average high at this time of year is 40. So we were well below average all throughout today, today, despite uh, the sunshine, the plentiful sunshine over the area. And we're all sitting mostly in the uh, 20s right now. That will drop into the teens as we head overnight. But wind chills in some places feeling a bit cold. We got some teens showing up, especially in our northern counties, 15 in Marysville, 13 in Hiawatha. So we'll be feeling cold as we go into the morning hours with temperatures dropping back into those upper teens. But the winds stay with us, and as light as they may be, things are going to be feeling pretty cold. But on the bright side, those winds out of the south pick up tomorrow. That gets us back up into the mid to upper 40s for highs for a much more comfortable end to our weekend with plenty of sunshine. You can see the clouds that really moved out of the area throughout the day today. Not a lot of cloud to cover to speak of out to our west, which is great for our day tomorrow. Again, expecting plenty of sunny skies, not a lot of active weather out west. The next system we're expected to affect us still sitting off of the coast of Canada. It will be making its projection down into the United States as we move on into Monday. Here's what that looks like on future track. We stay nice and clear going through our day tomorrow, but as we head into New Year's Eve, that's when the cloud cover returns to northeast Kansas, as well as a chance for some rain initially. And as this system really works its way in, we could even get a little bit of a wintry mix or even a little bit of snow out of this as it marches its way through and colder air comes in behind it. Good news, though, as we have our New Year's Eve plans Monday night, we stay just cloudy over northeast Kansas. And that really breaks apart as we go throughout the day on Tuesday. So just a quick system that makes its impact known earlier on uh, Monday and also drops temperatures pretty significantly. New Year's starts off on the cold side, 25 for our high. But with plenty of sunshine in the forecast, we have a nice warming trend as we head throughout the week uh, next week, back into the 50s by next weekend with plenty of sunshine.